Hey everyone, Lensman Oz here, and welcome to another episode of Manufactio. So, Gulrith responded on my previous episode. Thought I could see something through that gap there. I uh, just had a creeper standing over here. Uh, you can see I'm, I'm expanding my uh, my smeltery area. So, yeah, Gulrith responded with a you need to expand your your you know smelting column. So I've done this. This is probably going to really bite me in the backside eventually, but um, the moment it just circles back around on itself because I want to get rid of most of this stuff here. And none of this is upgraded yet. I haven't run power over here, but I've kind of set up the, the premise of what I'm doing. Uh, so all my drills and stuff are still turned off. I'm still processing through my backlog. I think I'm down to one shelf level of the... Of the actual of the shelving unit uh, I need to get some more of these powered lanterns out here I have gone through and upgraded a lot of our power except for this side this side is still running on LV but most of this area is now running on HV or HV or MV so I should say sorry uh, so I haven't done much more around the back of the base um, starting to find that I can spend you know a long time just doing small amounts of stuff uh, I still want to rip all this stuff out eventually and and do something else here but um, yeah I've, I've got LV running through going between the lanterns mainly keep the place lit up and it's just running off and I'm not sure if this is the best way of doing it here we go here. It's just running off one side of the, the generator and then the other two are feeding the, the MV uh, line. So we're still getting LV going and powering our lights and keeping the spawn rates down, which it is doing so very well. Just need this to finish up. This is noisy. You're noisy. Still be some water. Somewhere. It's alright, it's obviously coming into winter again. It's getting colder. Uh, once this is done, I do want to drop the advance bin on top of here. And then we'll deal with getting coal to that advance bin. Uh, we've got tons of coal around. There's, there's two full double chests. Or now there's two full double chests of coal. Uh, but I'll use this point here. I need to pick up some of my junk. These guys have been disabled. Uh, so I can collect all these belts and stuff up now. Um, and I made it so that... Uh, so I'm not pushing stuff. I'm not having to use this uh, to get the outputs away from the other guy. So you know what? I'm just going to break this. And these these are cheap to make. It's it's you know literally like the the cooked hardened stone and and a, and an iron ingot. They're not not expensive, but there's no point in me reinventing the wheel, so to speak. If I've already got the items. I may as well use the items. I've already crafted up. I'm pretty sure I got my calculations right. Already crafted up. Yeah, get off that. The extra ones of these guys. And yep, again, just too much junk. Have some coal. Yes, that'll just process around. It's okay. Uh, let's pick you up and you. And that should be dropping power and stuff everywhere. Hopefully, get two. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the heads up. You keep running into the cable, it's fine, buddy. <laughs> that's that's part of my part of my security system is the cable. Um, I think I dropped one of these guys. I, I don't know. It'll probably turn up. It'll fallen in here or something, and it'll be in that chest over there, or it'll gone down this belt. But just clearing this area out will be a nice. 
nice change and it does mean I'm going to need to pull up or add plates or you know this iron plate stuff to the ground over here. Uh, the output you can see there is going straight out the back and straight into here so all of this can be removed and as I said once this is empty this guy is biting the dust as well. Um, but yeah, it try to do this without uh, causing too much drama to myself and out having to completely redesign what I've already got. So my response to to Golrith's uh, thing about changing the base around was uh, it would be nice if it was as easy as it is in Factorio. Because obviously in Factorio you just you 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 you're top down. You just click and it, it's there and you place a block and it's there, you know, so in that respect, you know, this is as close as it can be to a, a Factorio a clone. Uh, right. So let's continue. Uh, actually, one moment. I'll be back in just a second. Sorry about that. Phone was a ringing. Now, collecting up all these things, then we're going to build it elsewhere. I do want to unlock a little bit more. Uh, you can have that. That I do want to try and unlock some more research. Just making sure I've got all the stuff I need. So yeah, we're definitely going to be cleaning up this whole area. And moving the pollution away from the central location, which is... Probably a good idea at this point in the game is to to back things off. Um, but I haven't even checked whether this is working correctly. I think yeah, it looks alright. We seem to have items exporting. It will be slow because, as I said, there's no there's there's no power hooked up to any of it. And obviously, I do need to finish building these guys in here because that will be a problem too. As soon as I break that, I'm going to get items dropping down on my head. And we're just going to have to deal with that as it comes, because we need to get a hopper in there. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. We can work around these things. So, I need to make sure I left the double spacing so that we could have the um, items either side. It's going to look a little silly. Oop. It's going to look a little silly to start with, but I think this will work better and and give us a um, the outcome. Let's get rid of that. Pick up the coal. Nice, awesome. So the plan is still to try and get this stuff going here, and maybe replacing this one at the end here with an advanced bin. Um, I still haven't done a nether run, and I don't have the obsidian yet. So maybe that's something we can do now. I don't. I am worried about going to the nether. And I'm not sure whether it's worth me making diamond armor. I've got plenty of diamonds. I should still... I think they're over here in this crafting table. No. Oh, no, they're inside. I was making a couple of diamond shovels because I wore through my other ones. Uh, but, I mean, like, diamonds aren't hard to come by. So, again, I don't know whether there's a, a benefit to... Um, diamond armor. I mean, let's have a look. Legs. Diamond leggings are plus two, plus six. What I'm wearing is plus 0.5 because I'm just wearing soldier's pants. Soldier's pants are 825 durability. I don't know what diamond pants are. Now there are 
There is a level up in terms of military combat armor, which requires military processing. Um, military process is that in process? Oh, that no broadband process. Military processing. So I need engines <laughs> before I can go. So uh, again, uh, as I was saying, maybe diamond armor is better than what I've currently got. I'm gonna need to leave the um, the respirator on. Maybe I don't know what the nevers are like. I don't know if I can put that there. No, that would be nice if you could. Do need some more ammo actually. I don't know why that's like that. Maybe that's from when I was carrying the handgun. That's cool. Let's get them out of there for the moment. Alright. So we currently have what six armor if i take this and once the little thing disappears we'll be all right okay so it is better armor i i'm assuming it's better armor i i, I don't 100 percent know and these obviously have well the knockback resistance is good Decent EMC, but nothing amazing. I don't know what all the other um, stats on it are. Let's get boots as well. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's better. Diamonds for now. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure. Gives us... Uh, almost full all right so what we need to do now is get some obsidian let's put you know what i'm gonna you know what i need to do one of these as well and then i need to dump the rest of my junk off Yeah, because if we're going to do this run, I'm not going to do it with all the stuff in my inventory, because that would be silly. Okay, get rid of some more stuff. Diamonds can go in here. I jingle around now. <laughs> I think that's funny. Uh, you can have that. Is it worth me taking another pick? Probably. I don't know how long I'm going to be in the nether. Probably as short an amount of time as possible. Because I am going to die, I'm sure of it. Let's get rid of that and that. I don't think there's much point in taking that with me. Maybe there is, but I've never thought. Uh, we'll just take it. It's fine. Got some food. Yep. Them away. Keep a little bit extra. I've got a bucket. All right. Take those extra two. You can have diamonds. All right. So I'm almost there. I'm almost ready. I will need a flint and steel. I'm pretty sure I have one of them made. Might have picked it up from somewhere. Next notifications. So yeah, uh, it's afternoon, it's a terrible time to do this, and it's probably going to take me a little bit to make up the obsidian. I am slower, I feel. I feel that the diamond armor makes me slower, which is very potentially the thing to dissuade you from using it I guess 
Um, so I'm not sure whether it's a good idea what I'm doing, but just want that little bit of extra armor. I'm coming over here because we have a lava source. And I need... Need obsidian. Put that back. I want to get. I don't want to waste too much of this lava, but Eww, that's probably too much of the lava. There we go. Keep an eye out. Things trying to eat my face. Can I even mine it? I don't know because I don't have a. Yes, I can. Okay, so I just need the <laughs> 10 of them. And this is where Vein Miner would come in very handy. Oh my gosh, this is going to take a while. Okay, so what do I need? 10? It's 2. <laughs> uh, I guess, you know, otherwise you guys are going to sit me, sit here and watch me mine up obsidian for the next like three or four minutes. So I'll put another cut in. Because um, it's night time, that scares me. <laughs> well, that's probably not a good one to do. Oh boy. Um, so I'll, yeah, I'll put another cut in and I'll be back in a moment. As soon as I break this, there we go. Alright, so it started snowing. And um, that kind of broke a few things here actually. Um, I had to build these little... Um, I don't know, frameworks over the top of any belt that drops underground like this. Um, this one was blocking up and causing drama. So it's ugly, but um, it'll do. Uh, now, it seems to be working. I still haven't finished building them, but I've got my obsidian. I've built my portal over here. I don't know how much I like where I've built it but um, it'll do for now so let's um, just give it a go I've been just collecting up some cobble because I'll take it with me I've got one lantern left I'm not going to take powered lantern there's no point in that but we've got one lantern um, I'm probably about to die so uh, let's just give it a go. Apparently it's nasty in here too, so... That's quite scary. <coughs> Hello? This. Jeez, freaking out already. What do we got? Just okay. Pretty sure this is all I'm here for. Need some nether quartz. And I was just told to do like a, a run, grab, and get out. What? That? That's scary noise. And I don't like being in here. Yep, that, that's that's long enough. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna drop a, a lantern down, but I'm out. Just came for a little bit of nether quartz, but I'm out. Wow. Yes, I'm a scary cat. The, the reason for going to the nether was basically just to um, grab a little bit of nether quartz. Because if I'm going to do... I'm going to do any more of this automation, uh, relying on getting them from drops is not going to be it. So comparators here. 
uh, is what I need the nether quartz for. So, otherwise, I don't know what that is. But yeah, just some redstone comparators. Season sensor, that's something different. We've got other different types of comparators here. Lab blocks, I'm not going to waste quartz doing that. All right. Still scary. But I do need to hook stuff up. All right. So when I came back from checking out the area, I was kind of hoping that I'd have enough red science to unlock things, but I've got eight. I could have sworn I had more than that. I'm not sure why this is because I've dumped a few stacks of items in here now. And I would imagine. Pretty sure this one here is. is what I'm after. Nothing in the chest. Belts. No. I really want to know where all the gear wheels are going that I'm throwing in here. Plates. Are they all going to this one? Because that's, that's a little bit odd. I don't know how best to do a like a round robin, um, which is why I'm considering making a setup where there's just uh, one of these per item that is required. So in the case of this, get off the belt. I'm pretty sure this is red science, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, I... I think I'm going to end up with a... Uh, ow. It takes off a lot more hearts than I was expecting. I think I'm going to end up with, with at least... If not having one uh, setup like I do over here uh, per item, so one, one for plates and one for one for gears, I think I need to have that ability to have multiple outputs from it. So if we had one of those crafter things like here, so the one for red science could go right here, for example, and you could make it here and have a hopper that feeds in the copper ingots or whatever. Um, and every time it takes a, a gear out, it would, um, it would refill it from the thing. And then I could either have another one going off this direction to make whatever other items I need or I could maybe move to another another one of these bins so just have a another inserter to another bin and then split off that way or I don't know I need to do some more looking into how it's all going to work um, but, oh, this snow's terrible it's just snow everywhere. But doing it the way I've just been doing it with this this router, it's not working. It seems to prioritize one over everything else. Because um, I should have had more than eight. Um, that'll do it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's alright. Stop looking. I found the problem. Um, that's a derp. That is a huge derp. Whoops. <laughs> I've got almost 60 in there. I just forgot to give it power. 
My bad. Okay, so I needed... What I wanted to unlock was the, the cables that'll allow me to not get zapped every 32 seconds. Um, like that. And lose two hearts. Uh, so I wanted to get insulated cables. So I think that's only 50 red sites. So that's what I'm aiming for. So once these guys are processed through, uh, red sites will need to be used for that safe cables. And then the base will be, well, certain cables will be changed over to being safe ones. Uh, so I may, may leave the LV one around the outside, but some of these MV stuff, that's definitely got to change. Um, please leave a comment down below if these things lose voltage over distance. I don't think they do, um, but I don't want to all of a sudden have no power. And I do need to run this MV from this guy out over there. So I'm going to put another cut in and just keeping an eye on the time for myself because I do have to work today. Um, and I'll need to leave soon. But uh, I want to get these guys moved and I want to get that 50 science done so we can uh, get safer cables. So bear with me. Be back in a moment. Okay, um, apart from having a few major issues when I tried to set the ovens up, um, we're sort of getting there and I've got so much junk in my inventory. Look, I know I was waiting for this box to empty out, but um, things are a little bit more of a pain than they should be. Yay, we've got our our amount. Let's unlock back this one. Thank you. Okay, insulated cables. Okay, let's have a look. Cable. Insulated. Okay, so insulated MV is heavy cloth. And a bit of creosote. That's not too bad. Heavy cloth. Um, heavy cloth is... Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So I can convert some of my MV cables. I think I've got... What's in you at the moment? Not. We can transfer some creosote into there. Take that out of there for the moment. Should have some heavy, heavy cloth around. Sure, I've had some drop. Um, I swear I've seen some heavy cloth. Shout out if you see it. Heavy? No. Really am sure I saw it. This stuff, so wool around leather or hemp around sticks. Let's grab sticks. I don't th think I've been dumping hemp. Maybe I have. No, there's some. Let's see. Two of them. Okay, that's ten. That'll give us... What? Two? <laughs> it's tough fabric. Uh, the wool around leather's a decent thing. I don't know how much string. I don't know if we've got cotton in this pack. Do we have? No. Uh, so string comes from hemp, so wool might actually be cheaper to do it like this way. No, three. Because, yeah, this is a... I think this is more expensive. 
Oh, except you need the, it's the leather that will fix that up. And I don't have tons of leather. You know, this this should be able to make at least one heavy cloth, and then I can just demonstrate that we can do this and this and put the switch off and we will get insulated mv wires which is cool uh what else do we get at r023 just the insulated wires but that's that you know that's that's decent i can get maybe i should get a bigger hemp farm and just these two couple of rows you know these these little bit that i've got here um but we can potentially just set up i don't know this got maybe there's an automation for it can i uses um no not that stuff uh, use okay so recipe for this no i can't I've Okay, so there's no uh, automation, so to speak. This is looking very sad. Don't generate much power with this anymore at all. So yeah, um, we've unlocked that the wire. I'll be running a lot of these cables because we're going to be having a lot of cables running around this area. I'm considering running them down the back. Because uh, I'm going to be spending time in this area. So the last thing I want is cables floating around all over my head. But I just need to get all my connectors and and get this guy set up. It's just a case of putting all these down and then wiring it up. So as I said, I might wire it up through the back. We'll see how many I can get off one point. So I should be able to get at least four or five. Might be able to get like three of these guys done from one point, if that makes sense. The cable should reach. This one's going to have a bit of an issue with the tree. But I'll get some posts and uh, put them behind. Should have some aluminium around here somewhere. Make up some posts and get all these guys hooked up to power and then next episode this thing will be cruising along there is tons of coal up there <laughs> it's pretty terrible but um, there is an absolute load of coal just shuffling around at the top and all the time we are adding more so i don't think i need to add any more coal i don't know how laggy that is um you can have that too but yeah, once once I get rid of this entire backlog, hopefully, <laughs> look at it all just flowing around. Let's go to the other end. Hopefully, once we get rid of this backlog, I can start up some of my miners again. Uh, I may need to get some sort of um, gun or something out here to protect the area. You can see sheer amount of coal. Progressing through there. And only dropping into the thing when it needs to. Anyway, as I was saying, it's wrapping up the point. Thank you all for watching. Leave those comments down below. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye now.